Should I replace my home's ground rod? Well, should you? Well, let's take a look at this one. Not only does it have a pipe clamp, which is no longer to code, but look how loose it is. Not to mention how rusted it is. And this ground rod is galvanized instead of copper, which only lasts about 15 years. And it could be even less than that, depending on the environment around it or how acidic the ground is. I've even seen one rust in half in only eight years because a swimming pool was nearby. But hey, you have a qualified electrician inspecting your home annually, right? And you're probably wondering how important is this ground rod and what's it for? The main purpose is to create a low resistance pathway for excess electricity to enter the earth instead of things in your home. But it doesn't directly make the breaker trip. Also, it helps in the event of a power surge or even a lightning strike. But lightning's unpredictable, so we never know. But today, I'm going to install a new ground rod for you. And each item I use, like this box, and the rotary hammer inside, I'm going to list it in the description below so you can order one for yourself. Or who knows, maybe you'll realize it's way too expensive and better to let the professionals do it. Yeah, you'll see. I like to stand out from the crowd by driving the old ground rod down first. Because a lot of guys, they'll just leave it there. And I drive it down first because it's going to get a lot of mud inside. And so when I'm actually driving down the new one, the mud vibrates out. And this rotary hammer is extremely loud, so we need to protect our ears with some louder music. Did you know that a whole home surge protector actually needs a good working ground in order to operate effectively? Most of the electrical code book is about grounding. Your home's grounding system is important in order for breakers to trip, also for GFCIs to trip. Hey, now I'm not saying your house is gonna catch on fire, but the National Fire Protection Association is the people who write the National Electrical Code. And hey, maybe we should listen to them. <laughs> 